The Japanese sword is the symbol of Budo, and the cutting edge of its blade is said to be sharper than that of any other in the world. This is one of the basic patterns of fencing in the ancient Shinkage school of Kendo. The object is to avoid the opponent's sword and to reply instantly to his blows. As real swords are used, great skill is required as the least mistake means certain death. <laughs> The belief of the samurai that he should know how to handle the sword, to have spiritual power, and be fearless in the face of death in battle has been handed down to this day through this type of special training. Training which must be continued day after day. <coughs> The mission of the samurai was to defend their lords from attack. To provide constant readiness against wars and insurrections, they were called to ever improve their minds and sword skill. Japan is blessed with the four beautiful seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter. 
the variety of which gives various influences upon the human mind. Through this benevolent gift of nature, the Japanese have been imbued with the spirit of Budo. As only the warrior class were privileged to use the sword, the less fortunate had to devise other means of defending themselves from the violence of the sword. The master demonstrates the use of the tatami tempe. It is made of deer skin and it is elastic enough to absorb even the sharpness of the Japanese sword. Tonfa, made from the hardwood of the oak tree, allows one to shield himself from the cutting power of the sword, while at the same time it has the unseen power of killing one's opponent with a single blow. Defeat in the face of the Japanese sword meant certain death, as the only means of defending oneself against the sword when it resorted to violence was to beat down the opponent. It was therefore vital that one had to train himself severely to master techniques surpassing the samurai. The time-honored scuffle arts of Japan were developed to overcome opponents with swords. The natural enemy, therefore, was the sword and the samurai who used these swords. Although the Japanese sword is synonymous with the soul of the samurai, it became a source of great fear, one that changed both human character and social situation. When one has a weapon, it is easy to delude himself into believing that he is better than his opponent. 
To be a samurai means to avoid this self-conceit and to constantly train oneself to face death. While they fight freely with wooden swords, should one of them forget to hold back just before making a hit, the other would be maimed for life. The Japanese sword was designed as a weapon to kill, yet the Japanese sword was at the same time a work of art, and so it was that the user could become either a good man or villain of his own choosing. The training teaches one how to live and how to die.
There is no end to the perfection of swordsmanship. The swordsman is often racked by solitude and mental agony, but there is no escape from constant practice. The sword easily cuts through the stiff bamboo, which clearly implies that the sword can just as easily cut through human bone. Although one may try to calm his mind, it does not come easily. He cannot attain moot, the state of nothingness. There is no way to perfection but through patience and effort. The Japanese sword shows its fearsome characteristics hidden in the blade, only in the hands of the user. The sword can cut a man's neck in just one hundredth of a second.
This is the shocking one hundredth of a second. The Japanese sword is born of the incandescent flame. It has been endowed with life to kill. Its blade holds the power that manipulates the destinies of men. The swordsmith earnestly strives towards the sharpness of the blade, while at the same time with a prayer that his sword will live in peace without the shedding of human blood.
By instinct, man attaches himself to life when faced between life and death. Should he adhere to live, he betrays his desire to die a glorious death. The mystical sword watches life in silence. In Japan, there is a maxim that the life of a human being is the length of the sword. The swordsmith engraves the knots of life. Time changes a human life. A certain swordsman, having mastered the art without losing his life for half a lifetime, learned in time that he should never draw the sword, not being cut by an opponent and not cutting another, defeating the enemy, winning over his own mind. Such is the spirit of the Japanese sword. He has understood the truth. mind accepts the inevitability of death at any moment, can one truly understand that the sword should never be drawn. Through the severity and cruelty of the training, one arrives at the truth of Budo, to live life in peace without violence. It is only at the instant separating life from death that the spirit of Budo becomes crystal clear.
As long as the universal truths of heaven, the earth, and man remain, the spirit of Budo shall endure.